Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you a May slash June favorites video. Um, I have a couple things that I've actually really been loving. I have a couple new clothing pieces, some beauty products, and actually some tea. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it for you. This is just my overall favorites of the month, some things that I've just been in general loving. So I'll go ahead and start with maybe like some beauty products. The first thing that I want to talk about is this NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna. Um, this is one of my favorite lipsticks I've come across in a long time. Um, as you guys can see, it's almost like a dusty mauve type of color. I know, isn't this shape weird? This is how I apply lipstick. When I'm like running out the door, you remember those? <laughs> I'm like cracking myself up even thinking about it. Do you guys remember those like uh, quizzes in junior high? That they were like, what does your lipstick say about you? You know, and it like depending on the shape that your lipstick is, and how you apply lipstick shape says a lot about who you are as a person. So yeah, this is, you know, I'm like, I put it on with my like lips closed. Is that weird? I don't know. Is anybody else like this? <laughs> but anyway, I love this lipstick. I'll go ahead and put some on my hands so you can see just how pigmented and creamy that it is. And it's just an absolutely stunning, like dusty mauve type of color. I really love it. I've been really impressed with it. Um, the color selection, I feel like for me, um, is not, there's like not a ton that I would personally want to buy, but when I saw this one, I was like, oh, this is right up my alley. I highly recommend it. Stays on very well, and it's a very, very, very good lipstick. And then the next thing that I have is this Deborah Lippman. It is um, a nail polish in Love in the Dunes. It's like a creamy, um, purplish gray almost, but this is a part of a new collection that um, they just, she just came out with. And I did get it at Sephora. It's just an absolutely stunning color, um, and I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's very neutral, but still kind of uh, fashion forward at the same time. I, I really like it, and I very much suggest it. <laughs> oh, I'm pointing this way. This way. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. He's already made an appearance in one of my videos, you know, whatever. So just... Focus on me. Focus on me talking about my favorites. Um, anyway, I'll go on to the next thing that I have here. It is the Bumble and Bumble Semi Sumo. It's High Shine Low Hold Pomade. Um, I've been using this for years. It's actually a really cool product and it smells amazing. But basically, it's supposed to um, tame like frizz and also like provide definition. And what I personally use this for is when I'm done styling my hair, if I want a little bit more texture or if my ends are feeling a little bit dry, I'll just um, massage a little bit of this into my ends and maybe to tame flyaways on the top. And it also smells amazing. I do find with this is what's really nice is that I don't find it too waxy. It's not um, going to weigh down your hair a lot like some of these other pomades do. I very much recommend this one. Um, like I said, I've been using this for years and I just wanted to mention it because it is one of my like all-time favorite um, hair products. But also anything that I'm going to be showing today, I'll try to link it down below so you can find it for yourself. And then this next thing that I have is like a godsend. I can't believe I didn't know about this for so long. Um, it's by Sephora's br actual brand and it's Instant Nail Polish Remover. Basically what it is, it comes in this little jar and then um, when you open it up, say you have nail polish on, um, you just stick your finger in there, hold it for a couple seconds, and then bring it back out, and your nail your nail will literally have no nail polish on it. It's unbelievable. Um, I just love it, and also what's so great about it is that it doesn't have that aggressive um, nail polish like acetone smell, which I'm so, I'm, I'm just loving it. Even at the bottom here it says it's magic, because it really is. I've gotten... Um, I've told friends about this, I've told my mom, and now they're all hooked too. If you haven't used it, please do. I um, haven't used like the cotton swab and, you know, dabbing some um, nail polish on to take off my nail polish in like a year now because I use this. And they actually also have a um, one for uh, glitter nail polish. And it's also on the inside, like I'll show you, it's just a pad with like a little hole in the middle and that's where you, you stick your finger in the middle. Um, with the glitter one, that the pad that's on the inside is actually like a more abrasive pad, um, whereas this one's kind of soft, it just feels like foam. Um, but yeah, so that one, in the, the glitter one, I have used it. Tastes a little bit more, you know, doing to actually, um, and scrubbing to actually get the nail polish off, but as far as like dark nail polish, red nail polish, it takes it right off. It's amazing. I'm like, I actually have two of these in my, um, 
linen cabinet because I just don't want to run out and I'm always so scared that they're going to like discontinue this because I it's one of my all-time favorite products so highly recommend this as well and then this is an interesting thing this is just like a drugstore item um I've been using this for about a year as well and I don't know where I've been all this time why I haven't been using this um it is called a spin pin and what it is basically is it's almost like a coiled looking bobby pin and what's so cool about this is when I go to sleep at night or if I'm do, you know running errands or just doing things around the house I hate having my long hair like just down around my face it gets so irritating to, to me and I'm sure other girls with long hair know how it is I just I hate it when it's in my face and if I'm you know trying to um, you know clean or do something like that or I'm going to bed basically what I'll do is I'll put my hair up into a bun like on the top of my head and basically what you do is you keep turning this and turning it until it's securely holding your bun in place and it really holds it in place so it's also good for like if you wanted to do like a top knot I've done it with that before but I just really like these and um, for years I was just using like a clip to put my hair up but I don't know for some reason I really like this a lot and I feel like it just looks more clean when you put it in your hair you don't have to see that stupid like 90s style clip <laughs> but um I actually have some more in the box that I'll show you just so you can see what it looks like if you were looking to find them um sorry it's a little dirty it was like in my cupboard um it's just by the brand goody and it's um simple style spin pin and I got the one for dark hair they have one for light hair and one for dark hair I have my hair is auburn um so I lean more towards probably the darker side so yeah I would definitely recommend these I, as soon as I got them like another this is another thing like when I really like something I like buy another one or at least two more and just put them away so that um, you know when I run out I don't have to go and find them I can just grab them from my cupboard okay so the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually a food product it's a tea um, I'm a huge tea drinker I have been um, from the time that I was younger. Uh, I am not a pop drinker. I, I really don't drink pop very often just because I try to stay away. Just the sugar content is so unbelievably high as we all know. Um, but I've just, yeah, I don't really like soda. Growing up, my mom always had iced tea. She was always making iced tea. And so um, I think that kind of just rolled right into me. And um, it's part of my like daily habit now as well. So anyway, I went into Tivana, which I think is so cool. And um, they started bringing out the tins. If you know what I'm talking about <laughs> in there, they like bring out the tins and they um, let you smell them. And they are just, oh my God, they smell so amazing. So anyway, I got um, two while I was there this last time. I just got, let me see. I'm trying to, how, I don't know how many ounces this is. I think this is four ounces that I got. But it is the strawberry grapefruit green tea. And um, I used this for iced tea. I'm not really happy how strong it came out um, this one time, but I really wish I could have you guys smell this. It smells unbelievably amazing. Unbelievably amazing. And um, actually, you guys, I had like sticker shock when I was checking out because seriously, this is four ounces. And the other one I got, I got blackberry um, mojito green tea, which that's really nice too. It's got like blackberries, raspberries, and some mint in there. Um... For just two four ounce portions, it was like 50 bucks. And I just looked at my husband and he's like, I'm not paying for it, you know. I'm like, oh my god, I did not know it was that expensive. But to be honest with you, their tea is so high quality and I just feel like it's a lot of um, mixes and variations that you can't really get anywhere else. It is loose tea and I just think it's really, really impressive as far as the taste and my god, the smell. It's just, I really wish I could have you guys smell this right now. Let's go ahead and get into some of, the, I have three fashion things to show you. Um, they're all pretty much new items, but they're, they are un under favorites for me because I just got them and I'm obsessed. So the first uh, item that I want to show you fashion wise is this unbelievable Alice and Olivia sequin jacket that I picked up at Nordstrom Rack. As you can see, it's just unbelievable. It has, um, you know, just multiple sequins and everything um, everywhere. The, the design is so cool and it's on like silk, so you have to be really careful with it. But um, this is the back. Oh my God. And this was actually originally a thousand dollars and I think I picked it up for like 320 which is an unbelievable deal. And I've seen this on multiple fashion bloggers that I follow 
Um, and so when I saw this and I did get it in a medium, I was just blown away. I mean, I feel like this will really jazz up and make something really special. Um, you know, for a night out or a special occasion, I'm just really obsessed with it. I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit more up close. Isn't that insane? Oh, <laughs> I am so excited about this jacket, you guys. I'm like, I, I really can't believe how stunning that it actually is. Um, I'm just, I'm looking forward. I actually haven't worn it yet. I think I'm going to wear it. My husband and I have like a date night on uh, Saturday. I think I'm going to wear this with maybe just like a black tank, maybe like this helmet laying top that I have on now with just some skinny jeans. Oh, so beautiful. And then the next thing that I have is this um, Rebecca Taylor floral type of top that I picked up. This is another thing that I picked up at Nordstrom Rack. It's got this beautiful black background and kind of um, black um, shows a little bit at the bottom. It's all silk and it's got this beautiful um, floral uh, pattern on the front of it. And I love, I think I've explained to you guys before, I love anything with florals. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite patterns if I do wear a pattern to wear. But this is called the Double Layer Top. And it was originally $250 and I bought it for $50. So that was a really good deal. I did get it in, this, in a size 8. And it fits um, with still some room because I feel like it is supposed to be a little bit oversized. But yeah, if you can just see, I mean, the close-up of how stunning, um, you know, the, the floral looks. It's just such a beautiful, it's almost like a watercolor type of print, you know, that it looks like. So yeah, and then it also has just a little keyhole um, looking slit in the back. Really beautiful, really happy with that. And then this next thing that I have is a helmet laying, really, really thin and drapey type of top um, that I got from Nordstrom. And it's beautiful. It's got like all this ruching down the side and it's so soft, but ugh, I worry about it because I know there's just, this is just waiting for like some jewelry to snag on it. It's super, super thin. You know, as you can see, you can kind of see my hand. Um, but yeah, I did get this in a medium. Just really, really beautiful. It's like a like a light rose color. This is just the cowl neck top and slack jersey in the color rind. Um, and it was originally 185 and I got it for around 60, which is about, let's see, like almost 70% off. So that's that was a really good deal. But yeah, really happy with this. You guys know I love my helmet lang. And helmet lang usually does just a lot of neutrals. He might do a pop of color every once in a while. And that's why I thought this was a little bit different. But I'm definitely feeling this. And um, I saw it a long time ago. And like I said, it popped back up at Nordstrom. And I got it for a good deal. So I'm really happy about that. And then um, I just want to show you guys. I told you that I'm... Um, in the process of moving and I also have been buying just a ridiculous amount of furniture and decor for our new home which I have mentioned I'm going to be uh, designing and um, kind of putting together my own home office at our new home so um, I've been buying little things here and there that I see as far as decor and I saw something on Pinterest a while ago just a couple fashion style books just stacked with like a little um, you know, like de decorative object on top, you know, like on top of a desk. So this is one of the books that I got um, for, for that reason. And I also have been looking through it, and I just think it's so cute, and I wanted to mention it. It's um, The Little Dictionary of Fashion by Christian Dior. And it's really cute. It's like the same color. You can kind of, the light's bouncing off a little bit weird, but it's actually like the same color as that uh, helmet laying top. It's like a light rose. It's really, really cute. And I just think, you know, I think it's fun to kind of accessorize with um, books and things like that because I feel like it's a good way to incorporate kind of your personality um, in a way of what kind of books that you like and especially since I'm very interested in in fashion and uh, photography and stuff like that I've gotten books you know based on those sort of things to kind of stack and I feel like it's a really cool way to express your personality and also it's a very cost effective way to decorate you know and it's it looks really good but it's just um you know usually these books are not too expensive I actually bought another one I bought that huge I don't know if you guys have seen it huge Tom Ford book 
that thing is like bigger than like two Bibles stacked, okay? <laughs> it's huge. And it's um it's just black and white, really graphic. It's gonna look so cool. This is probably gonna be like the top tier, you know, something that I stack. But yeah, and it's really fun to read too. So if you had somebody you know, in your office or in your home, it's something that they could just look through, and it's a, a really cute addition. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit. I mean, it's just so cute. Come on. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that adorable? Yeah, but, so I'm really excited about that, and I can't wait to share my office with you when I, um, get it finished. Um, I should be doing that video, like, early July. I think that I'll have it finished, um, when we move into our new home, so I'm happy to show you guys that. And then the last thing that I have is my current everyday bag. I've had this bag for about a year, no, like a year and a half, but it's definitely one of my favorite summer bags because it's just that pop of color. And um, it is the Parenza Schooler uh, PS1. And I have it in the size medium, which I got to be honest, if you guys are thinking about buying this bag, I'm 5'8", and I find this to be a little small for me. I wish I would have gotten the large when I purchased it a while ago. If I do ever get another one, I'm definitely going to um, get it in the large. But yeah, so this, I have it in the bright red. I mean, this isn't even really coming off how, like, the like, in, in your face it is. But yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. I love this, like, messenger style. Um, I just think it's really cool. And then, um, you know, it's cute with, like, the plaque over here, like, the parental schooler um, tag. Yeah, this is just, like, one of my favorite bags. My husband actually really likes this one, too, because um, it's just a cool pop of color. Red's my favorite color, and I do wear a lot of neutrals. As you can see, this is, like, my normal um, type of attire. Um, and you know what? I know some people, you cannot wear this crossbody. Like, if somebody wears this crossbody, I want to know. Like, who... Who wears this crossbody? But so anyway, if it gets too heavy, I'll like throw it over my shoulder. And it's good just that way. Um, has tons of pockets, tons of pockets on the inside. This isn't like the easiest bag to get into when you're out. You know, say you're like at Target or something and you're trying to pay. You have to flip this up, grab this, and then you these straps come out. But so yeah, it's just, you know, I just think it's an excellent bag. And I'd highly recommend it. I love all the pockets. And I definitely really like this like um, messenger style, almost school bag looking, um, type of design. But yeah, this is one of my favorite bags. I love Parenza Schooler and, um, I wanted this bag for a long time and I knew I wanted to get it in like a bold color like this. But yeah, if you're looking at these, I'd highly recommend it. I will say that I do find that the more recent Parenza Schooler PS1s have a really, um, hard leather look to them. Just definitely go see these in store. Um, and check which kind of leather the one that you would be buying has, just so you know exactly what you're getting, because I feel like it can kind of be all across the board. But yeah, this is one of my favorite bags. Wanted to show it. This, this is definitely like my go-to summer bag, and I love it so much. Would highly recommend it if you guys are looking for um, a bag like this or you're looking into the Peronza Schoolers. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and thank you for anybody that has been subscribing or just leaves me a comment. Like I said, I love that and I very much appreciate it. Um, I will be coming back to you soon. I am moving in about two and a half weeks, so, um, definitely just, uh, look out for something a little bit probably, um, after that just because it's, you know, it's that it's crunch time now with packing. But I will return and I will, um, have a lot more, um, home videos and also some fashion videos once I get my closet organized and everything else. Maybe I'll do some, um, you know, my favorite jacket videos or my favorite dresses videos or things like that. Just let me know if there's something that you would like to see. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys once again and have a great day. Bye.